Hey everybody, today we're in Conway, South Carolina, yet again at the L.W. Paul Living History Farm. So today is Christmas at the farm, which is always a special event to attend because it represents how Christmas would have been from 1900 to 1955. And obviously this is one of our favorite places to visit. So, are you ready? Yes. Might as well be because we're already here. <laughs> So here's where they would grind the grits and all that stuff. It's really interesting whenever it's actually in action. It's a pretty spoon or whatever it's called, ladle, ladle. you making? I'm working on a little hook to hang on the wall there. Okay. So, should be an example there. I punched the hole kind of off center. I was, don't have a, a, the right punch for this out here. But It's nice and toasty here. Uh, yeah, it, most of what keeps me warm is the movement and the, the fire's heat's pretty concealed to about right there. So I don't get a whole lot of the, the heat from the fire, but I do stay moving. So I've got it squared up. Just can't really draw something out in a circle with two flat surfaces. I go ahead and turn it into a square, work my taper down, then I turn it up on the edge and turn it back into a circle. By um, knocking the corners down over and over and over again until it's round, because of Circle is just a bunch of really, really, really tiny straight lines. So I get that thing worked down. See, I got a nice fine point there. That's so you're using coal? Yes. So that is, um, should be bituminous coal, which is a um, metallurgy grade coal. It's pretty clean and burning, mm -hmm. sort of like anthracite. And on my mm -hmm. hammer and be able to hold and use a cutting tool without having to have three hands. So you see, I didn't cut all the way through there because I don't want to dull my hardy or mar up my hammer face. So I cut halfway through and then it's still hot, very thin spot, you just wiggle a little bit and it comes right loose. So I'm going to go ahead and almost the right one. What? There it is. And I'm going to go ahead and make that little beam at the top. <coughs> Probably won't punch a hole in this one because normally what I think what they've been doing out here is drilling a hole in them in the end. But did y'all make some of the iron at Brook Green Garden? I my father made a good deal of it. Most of the stuff with Phil Simmons okay. name on it was uh -huh. designed by Mr. Simmons and built by my father because okay. Mr. Simmons was in his 80s at that time. Uh -huh. But I have one gate in there. One gate. Yes, ma'am. Where's that at? Uh, <coughs> it's back there over there. Um, the last art gallery is out? I believe so. It's, I believe it's on the... It's on the back side. It, it's, so back there's a little side river. garden on right one of the buildings. The river? I believe so, yes ma'am. Okay. It should be, yeah, it should be right near the river. It's, um, there's one of the galleries has a little side garden. Mm hmm And that gate opens into that side garden. Okay. Alright. Yes ma'am. I know where you're talking about. Okay. Yeah, that's on... Um, that's one of them that my father and I worked on. That was seven years ago now. Okay. You too. Okay. 
So over there is the old tobacco barn. And these other buildings that we have already came across, even though I did not show it, we had the Serp Shed and then the grit mill, the blacksmith shop. That right there is the sawmill. So this is tobacco barn back here. And this over here is um, sugar cane, which is where the syrup comes from. Obviously it's already been harvested for the season. What? Oh, looks like they did. So this is an old wagon here and it's even in Christmas colors, which makes it absolutely gorgeous. You already missing them? So beautiful. My daddy chewed black mariah, which was as hard as stick. Uh, I wouldn't spit it out. <laughs> Mama come home, boy, what you got in your mouth? I said, chew in the back. And she just spit it out. I said, yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> you can wait to spit it out, huh? That was the first and last? Yeah, the first and last. I wasn't going to spit it out in front of daddy. But, uh, <laughs> That's the cutest, smallest bird I've ever seen down there. cow is out there but she is not wanting to be on video today but that's okay the cracklings mm -hmm. um so you know fat fried fat not good for you but very good <laughs> at least in my opinion <laughs> but um so we're in kind of a middle stage of it here I do always tell people it looks gross for like 90% of it. Mm -hmm. If you've ever done this before, you know. I know of it. You were in the kind of the gray phase. We we're in the, you know. We had to. <laughs> 
we killed a hog, right? And then you had to cook the fat right. off of it, right? And because it wouldn't last, time, <laughs> yeah. most of the time, um, you didn't eat the fat like that, right? But it was good to make long, yeah. So, you didn't eat the cracklings, or uh, mama, she would always make crackling cornbread, okay? <laughs> yeah, I did not like it. Oh, yeah. No, hey, I, that's okay. I, yeah. I like the crackling, but I didn't like the crackling cornbread. I don't uh, think it you... gets a little squishier in yeah. crackling cornbread. Yeah. Gotta keep an eye on the fire. Of course, fire management is the other important part uh -huh. of this whole process. Uh -huh. Just want to check it every so often. Because if you let this thing get too cold, it'll start to soak back up mm -hmm. the lard in there, and then you just end up with mushy stuff. So oh, watch the fire there. Yes, yes. yes. You're making cracklings. We are. We're rendering lard, technically. Although uh, the cracklings right. are the part that everybody's most excited about, including me. Um, uh, <laughs> when I was a kid, I mean, we we yeah, are making we liver and lights. You're making all all those little things that aren't going to last. You're cooking today, yep. like the day you kill that hog, and then the meat. You're salting. You're smoking. You're doing all that again to preserve it because. If you've been through this house, which if you haven't been through the house, the door is closed to keep the heat in, but it is open, so you can walk in and out yeah, of there. Yeah. But um, uh, it is. I just lost my train of thought. <laughs> <laughs> you ever do that? Oh, yeah. But so you're walking um, through the house. Right. I was telling you. Yep, we're cooking down lard here. Yeah. But oh, if you've been through that house, you see there's no refrigeration. There's the words I was going to say. So of course you're trying your best to make things shelf stable. Right. And this is one of those ways that you're doing that with that pig. Um, but yeah, we're starting to get into the frying phase here, guys. Apparently, I've kept my fire nice and hot. Although, actually, this wind, I think, has helped me because it keeps kicking up that fire. Oh, you're getting um, nice and brown in I'm there. I'm starting to get brown in there. Ooh. <laughs> but like I said, 90% of the time, this looks gross. When you're cooking it down, it's like gray and mushy <laughs> and kind of like... Mm, do I, is that really worth eating at the end of it? But then you get to the point where it starts to fry and you end up with those right, golden browns. you have flashbacks of your childhood. Yeah. <laughs> I do always find this fascinating as a sweet potato bank. Have sweet potatoes in it this morning.
Hello. They must think I have something to eat, but I don't. Mm. And obviously I cannot make a video without showing my favorite thing, the outhouse. Good, she says. Yes, I, I think. It yeah. weren't made for eating, but it was made for straining. Well, it, it, it was all made the fresh this morning. So. Oh, that's fine. Oh, what? What's that? Her friend. Her friend. I remember her birthday party.
so he wrote a story about a reindeer who also got picked on <laughs> until he became uh, pretty important. video from the L.W. Paul Living History Farm Christmas at the Farm in Conway, South Carolina. As always, it was a complete delight to visit. It's one of my favorite events of the year because I always love seeing how Christmas would have looked back in the day that I grew up. Yeah, it always excites mom because it reminds her of her childhood. And um, I do have an appropriate candy stick. And these things have been around since 1927. So they're older than, me. than what you are. However, this one's not. I'm pretty sure this one was made recently. <laughs> they're only 25 cents a piece, though, so you can't beat that. Probably back in its time, it probably was a penny. It's probably penny candy back then. It was still 25 you cents, not bad. For a penny. You can't get that now. But this is the green apple flavor. It's absolutely delightful. I probably, I probably should have got the peppermint when they finished the video <laughs> since it's Christmas. But this is Christmas colors. So how'd you enjoy it today? It was good. Very you know, The people knew a lot about even some of them grew up in that time. Some of them didn't. The man back there at Tobacco, he, he definitely. definitely grew up in the time. Um I I felt that fascinating to watch that lard cook. I don't know if I want to eat that stuff anymore. <laughs> but I will because I like pork rinds. So <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is. Well, whenever you had to mix, cut all that fat up to make cracklings, it was not that pretty. Yeah, sometimes if you see how it looks cooking, you don't yeah, want to eat it anymore. No, but you, you don't. Like the taffy candy, that's another thing. That looks gross, but I'm pretty sure it was tasty. That probably was. Yep. We, didn't have, we didn't have much taffy candy when I grew up. We didn't have much. I really like the Christmas tree. That was one of their prettier ones they've had over the years. We try to go to that every single year. If I'm off work, of course, if work out this year, I was off whenever they were having it. So, we're gonna wrap it up. Say toodle for this one. Um, if you have not subscribed, please do. If you like it, hit the like button, subscribe, do all, all the works. And if you don't like it, just don't do anything. It's, it's fine. No. Everybody does not like my sense of humor, but it's okay. So anyway, with that, 
We're going to say Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas from the farm. Merry Christmas. Yes, transport you back to 1900 to 1950. So, back at the turn of the 20th century, until the mid 20th century, whenever Mom debuted. <laughs> Yeah, but she's in the 21st century now. So anyway, toodaloo.